Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to do a quick video on a eye rig. Just how to rig the eyes, how I do it anyway. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite a quick and easy one, I hope. Um, might add, add a little blink too. So yeah, I'm going to start off. I've got the eyes drawn already. They're both on separate layers, left and right eyes. Um, they're just, so the pupil, everything is on one, on one layer for each eye. If I was to go in, you can see how these are just their own shapes here. Um, and the eye, and we've got this line above for the, just for the lid, which I quite like adding. Um, so the pupil and this, these are set to clip, so they will kind of, oh, excuse me. If I move it, you can see it kind of doesn't really go out the, gets masked by the eye, um, which is cool. So yeah, so I made one, duplicated the layer and flipped it and put it over here. So now we have two. And now I'm going to quickly group these together like this, call it just eyes. I'm going to co convert this to a bone uh, uh, bone group, sorry, convert to bone. Now we're going to go and add some bones so we can control this, these eyes. So I'm going to make sure I'm on frame zero. Just like the add bone tool. We'll do left and right first. Let's just put that up there. I'm going to call this eyes left, right, like so at the top. So that's called that. I'm going to select that bone. I'm then going to choose angle constraints and do this one minus 90 and this one 90. So we've got a straight kind of angle, con angle constraint uh, left and right. Sorry, um, okay. So now I want to go to my actions panel. Make sure this bone selected, hit add action. The name of your bone should come up here. If it doesn't, you're on the frame one or you're on the wrong layer or something. That's probably why. Hit okay. Now we're going to go to frame 96. I just go to that for some reason because it's there and it's on, it's on like the nice line. Um, Hit T to transform the bone and move it to the left. Right, we've got a bit of a thing going on here because as you can see, it's doing that. Why is it doing that? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because it has bone strength on. Let's go off the main line, choose bone strength, turn it all the way down. And now, oh, excuse me, now it shouldn't, yeah, okay, it doesn't do that now. Let's go back to this action but all the way down to the left. And we want to alt right click on the pupil of this eye first, just to get this layer selected. Now we want to hit T, just select the pupil and the highlight and move that all the way to the left, just to about there, wherever you think looks about right. Make sure you're on frame 96 there guys. I'm just going to also select all your keyframes and set them to linear. And then we're going to go back onto the main line. No, I tell a lie. Let's go back to the frame 96 and do the same for this side. Select these two all the way to the left. Okay, now we we'll go back to the main line. Make sure we're on the eyes bone layer. Add a new action, frame 96. T to transform the bone, bring it all the way to the right. And same again, we're just going to select the pupil and the highlight and bring it all the way this side. And same with this, all the way this side. Okay, and then make sure we set them to linear as well. Um, yeah, they are set. Okay, cool. That should be fine. Let me just... There's something not quite right there. What is that? Is it this? These are set to linear, right? They are. Can confirm. So are these set to linear? Yeah, they, they must be. Okay. Maybe I'm losing my head. Back to the main line. Um, we want to select this bone and turn on show label so we can see what it's called. Let's just test that again. Okay, that works. That's cool. Let's add a new bone. Make sure we choose select bone and select that bone, otherwise it'll parent it to that. 
Now we want an up and down bone. So let's go this way. Let's call this eyes up or slash down. Just like that. Bone constraints. We're going to do another angle constraint again. Same again, 90 degrees, guys. Close that. Turn down the bone strength. Show label. Now let's add a let's add a little action to it. Bring it all the way up. Oops, frame ninety six. Then bring it all the way up. My bad. Make sure this is set to linear. And then we're going to select the bone for this. Maybe we can select both. No, we can't. Let's just not confuse things. Select the bone for that. Move it up. Same with this. Move this up to okay back to the main line back to adding a new action oh see so I've not selected the bone there new action number two frame 96 bring the bone downwards and then let's select these and bring these downwards too Try and get them quite um, evenly matched. Great, okay. Back to the main line. So now we can test that out. We can go down that way, we can go that way. That works nicely. Cool, okay. So that's the pupils moving in the right direction. I might add a blink now. So let's just add a little blink one. So add a bone, call this blink and then i kind of want to add the eyelid shapes to these shapes here so we have them kind of to go so i'm going to quickly draw them in so with the draw tool I hit add points and let's just draw a lid shape how you think a lid would kind of go on this like this that like that and then we're going to select that and we'll make this a shape so we'll make both styles what color should we go for let's make it let's make him like a i don't know a blue 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 skin why not why not create shape select the shape and we're going to choose clip Hit down on down on, on the arrows to move it to the bottom and now we want to move this this shape upwards like this so it's there ready to go um copy that go to this eye we'll paste it and we'll also make that a clip so to do that we'll go with this select that shape it is already set to clip okay brilliant that's cool that works Okay, and then let's copy that again, paste it, flip it, move it to the bottom. Um, hit Q, select that shape, and then we'll move it up. That's not what that means, is it? Oh, right, it's there now. That's working. It's there. Cool. I think we'll sh just change the shape of this one though, Look, just a tad. Bit more straight, I guess you could say. Um, the bottom lid won't move as as much, but we'll just have it like that, and then let's copy that, and then just paste it here. So it's the same. Q. I think I think that should be. Is that working now? Q. 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 Where is it? Okay, there. We got it. We got it. Okay, so we've got the eyelids drawn and added. Let's go back to this bone. Call this blink, we've got it, we've got it called blink. Again, with the bone constraints, just an angle constraint. Minus 90, and then 90. Close that, turn down the strength of it. And now we want to select the bone, actions, add an action, blink, frame 96. Move it downwards like so, change these to linear. 
And then, so this is going to be when the eyes close fully. That's what we'll do. So let's select this layer and select this shape. Let's move it down to here. Let's select this shape and move it up to here. And we can also move these points so it kind of lines up a little bit better too. I guess that's where they, they would meet, I guess, around here. And we're gonna do the same on this one here. So let's select that shape, bring it down to roughly the same area. You can do that in this one up. And then let's move these shapes, these um, vector points, sorry, into the right position. And again, we wanna make sure this is all set to linear as well, that's my bad. Um, I keep forgetting to do that, which is not good. They're set to linear. Is this one set to linear? These aren't, okay. Linear, all this for linear. Cool. So, let's go back to the main line. Let's test that. <laughs> okay, look at this now. This is, this is the fun part of brainstorming why it's doing that. I'm gonna find out why it's doing that. I think it might have some, some strength. Has it got some strength going on it still? No bone strength. Is it parented maybe? It is parented. We need to unparent that. We don't want it parented. <laughs> there's always something that I forget to do. So there's the blink. And for the other way, I might just do a quick action on it um, for the bottom lid to go up, maybe. Just the bottom lid, because that's quite a fun expression. Um, yeah, let's do that. So let's click the bone, run the main line, frame zero, blink two, frame 96, transform it upwards. And then let's go in and move these points. So the bottom lid, sorry, that's what I was gonna do. Let's just do the bottom lids on these to around here. We can also play with these points a little bit better here. It doesn't, we didn't need to match anymore because it's not meeting the other lid. That makes sense. So we've got that. I kind of want to also, when it, when he does that, I want the whole eye, which would be cool to have everything kind of just stretch a little bit, you know? Let's do that, let's do that. So a slight stretch on the eye when he does that. And then when it goes blink one, it would be cool to have the eyes slightly shut a bit more. Yeah, let's close it a little bit. Same with this side, slightly shut. So it's got a bit of a squish to it. And then let's test that. So we got, oh, excuse me, bone layer. Let's test it. We got the shirt, the eyes. Yeah, that that looks cool. We can have them half closed. We can, you know, we can have them looking this way. We can have it kind of fully closed almost. But the eyes are squishing with it, which is cool. You can do loads of things with these actions. You can add the eyebrows as well, going up and down with the eyes as they close. But yeah, it's just a quick video, guys. I wanted to just quickly show that to you. I think it's quite a fun little exercise if you want to give it a go. And thank you for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.